Hello guys, it's Architect Zayed here. In today's course or in this course, we'll learn how to create roof tiles. Be it Spanish roof tiles, Chinese roof tiles, um, even American roof tiles. Any type of roof tile is applicable in this manner. So, in this first lesson, we'll learn how to create a single tile before putting it on that roof to create multiple tiles okay let's start by going into architectural template so you have to keep something in mind roof tiles is an overlay how will i say it um one on top of another in order to create an array of many tiles with a very uniform angular direction i don't know if it's correct or i just let me show you what i mean let's do it in the lesson so that you will see it practically for you to understand what i mean okay first of all let's create a family go to file open family so we use cotton panel don't make the mistake of you going here metric cotton wall panel no go back to this place revit template english one you will see cotton panel pattern based click on it and then open cotton panel is flexible you can create various mesh in order to import it into your design to create designs to create parametrics to create very any time anything you think is possible okay let's change our unit system to metric change it to millimeters okay and i would like to change the size of our cutting panel template to three or six and three or six why is it three or six three or six is because you see three three hundred and six the six is the excess why is it excess is because you're going to overlay one tile upon the other so it is overlaid by that six mm Okay, let's create our tile, set a plane, setting a plane is like um, you trying to create a reference that I'm, you're telling the computer, hey, I want to draw this on this vertical plane. So you're telling it, make sure it's drawing there. <laughs> you are trying to converse with the computer. <laughs> okay, let's create. make it any distance you wish okay nice now set another plane same as the other good and then pick line offset it by let's see 60 enter and then boom boom okay so remove this offset and let's see the thickness should be maybe 10 okay okay set the plane again here and then take it up by 10 also nice good okay now you see from looking at it you can see our panel is 
coming out as an angle at an angular at an angular piece let me show you what i mean let me finish creating close these loops here you can see this is open close them up okay sorry remove the offset make it zero is offsetting close the loops close both of the loops nice set plane always put in mind that in order to draw on here you have to set that plane in order to draw here you have to also set that plane so you need to be very careful about it or you can go here also put 60 and then oopsie sorry control Z <laughs> just forget it put zero close this loop here too close the loop and then close the other one too need to come closer another good nice and then press on escape now you see you have a complete loop select both by holding control and select both this and this this and this and then click on create form nice good you see you see what i mean you see is it is is going in an angular direction so in order to in order to put another one the other one will come to this place and it will have a very nice okay angle but my one is a bit too high you see from here to here from here to here i don't think it's up to but here is a bit too high let's let's reduce it it's a bit too high 60 is too much select plane okay and then pick line 60 is a bit too much so you have to use a very good angle that it will interlock by one will touch the other one it will just lay down like on on top of the other okay let's see 30 well, let's see 25 okay okay so then pick line offset it by 10 and the offset the other one 2 by 10 and then close the loop remove the 10 and leave it at 0 good leave it at zero bring it closer and that the computer to recognize the snap sometimes if the snap is a bit far the computer doesn't recognize it nice okay Then select this, 
and select this and then create form okay so you see nice okay so you see now the angle is a bit okay it's going from here to here so if you put this underneath this one it will interlock itself the other time is a bit too high okay let's put some guard into it to guard each tile at the front let me set a reference plane here and then pick line nice and then offset it by let's say 15 good and the line remove this offset see okay it's done correctly and then drag from here to here too nice and then escape take the form and then click on create form nice okay what is wrong with my form I is not closed Control Z is not closed perfectly. My form is not closed. Set it by twenty. Okay, and close it up. Remove this and put zero. gonna work I don't know why it's creating something create form okay now it created a good thing so let's reduce the height the distance I mean not the height the distance let me make it The very desired distance you want it to be okay I think this one is okay I think this distance is okay for me so here we have our tile a very simple and simplistic tile nice it's okay okay now we should have let's, let's save our, our family as family number two no problem save it good there's uh, some material to it make it realistic add some material and 
order for us to edit it later on create new material rename it to let's say roof good and then you don't apply okay okay now we can load it into our project nice okay our family has been loaded into our project we can begin roofing but sorry we're going to stop here for today do follow the process step by step it's a bit tricky but follow it step by step step by step i know you're going to understand so let's meet tomorrow same time thank you very much keep following my videos subscribe and like you will see much more videos and much more designs tricks and ways to design various type of things follow my video thanks bye